take the offer. I will destroy you and your fucking company! Sometimes when we meet people, we don't see them for who they truly are. I'm sorry that I did not see you, Jamal. This seems like a really important film, and I just want you to tell us a little bit about it. It's a uh, film. It involves a Chicago lawyer. I've been a practicing lawyer for about 30 years, and it mm -hmm. involves a couple of the cases I've worked on. The film is not me as a lawyer. It's a fictionalized lawyer. But it involves a lawyer who is uh, played by Matthew Modine, mm -hmm. and uh, he is struggling. He has his own struggles. He's divorcing. He's got all of these problems, and he gets assigned to represent a young man named Jamal, played by Shane Paul McGee, and the lawyer or the judge assigning him is the great Louis Gossett Jr. And uh, it involves a struggle that the two of them have to get to know each other. The character that Matthew plays mm -hmm. is this hard-nosed lawyer, corporate guy, and Shane is a young urban man who is, uh, they don't trust each other at first. Okay. And they have to get to know each other and then we see that Shane has gone through a terrible experience as a young foster boy. Um, he was abused physically and otherwise in the system. And they have to go against a corporation, a for-profit corporation, that put him in a situation and try to win the case. So you had personal experiences as a lawyer working on these kinds of cases, and how much of that did you bring into your script for this film? A lot, Wendy. It was, it, uh, I first had a case assigned to me about uh, 20 years ago, and it involved a young family that had three kids that were severely abused by a foster kid that was placed in a home. And the company that did this, a private company, didn't uh, tell the foster family that this young man who was 16 had a history of sexual and physical violence. And it was all over the records. So I had that case and I, I won it. And then I wrote a few articles, legal articles about it. And then I've had other cases and now I represent families in as far as Ohio, California, Wisconsin, um, Washington, D.C., and I've helped write some legislation. But again, it's one thing to take a case and represent a particular family, and of course it's important to the family and mm -hmm. to the system overall, but if we're going to change the system, if we're going to make a difference, I think the art of film is the way to do it, and this is a narrative film that is fictionalized but based upon three cases that I've handled over the years. So there's this for-profit system in terms of some foster placement. Tell us about that. I don't really know anything about that and I was sort of shocked to hear that it even exists. Yeah, um, I was shocked when I first found out yeah. so many years ago. But in fact, about half of the states in the United States allow this to occur. Yeah. And um, we have for-profit companies that take buy contracts from the state at one point, Illinois had 20, 30, 40 million dollar contracts with private for-profit companies to manage these approximate 17,000, 18,000 kids that were in foster care. And you know, I'm 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 a capitalist. I believe that uh, a for-profit company can make a good car, a nice watch, a nice coat, all of that. Sure. But here's the thing, Wendy: kids aren't products, no. and children in our foster care system. These, these are our children, literally they're wards of the state, which means that we are their in loco parentis, we mm. are their parents as citizens, and we have an obligation to these children to give them good education, a fair opportunity in life, and a safe home. So how did you end up getting um, connected with some of these actors who are so well known, and I think the producer also. Uh, first we had Peter Samuelson, who's a very well known producer. His connection brought us to some other producers, and then Mary Beth O'Connor, who got, who was good friends with uh, Shaquille O'Neal, and Matthew Modine, Louis Gossett Jr., all of them said, I want to be part of this. Mm -hmm. I want to, I didn't, they said the same thing you said, I didn't know there was for-profit companies, I didn't know there were so many kids in foster care, I didn't know there were so many kids that are abused in the foster care system, what can I do to help? And that's our primary goal, is to get the word out, to, to, to make a difference, and to entertain the audience with a, an incredibly gripping group of actors that tell a great story. That is wonderful. Now you had recently in Chicago a private screening, 
and for that you partnered with One Hope United, I believe? With a great charity called One Hope United. Yeah. You know, they're a non-for-profit organization, which is a big distinction, and they're there to help kids in a, get through the foster care system and to help with placements, I believe, and, and, uh, and we're going to continue with that marriage and we're going to continue mm -hmm. with other affiliations with groups that help foster kids because we want to spread the word that um, foster kids are an underrepresented group. They have no mm -hmm. lobby, right? They don't have, mm -hmm. you know, million dollar people advocating for kids who are poor, often underserved, often abused. And I just think we could do so much better as a society, and we should. And that should be something that no matter what your political stripes are or where you are and, and on the political spectrum or otherwise, we should all be there for our kids. Thank you.